To set a default value for your stop limit price reduction, first press on the configuration button in the main menu and then on the stop limit price reduction button. In the stop limit price reduction, you can configure the default percentage drop between the stop price and the stop limit price for all the trades you enter. First, let's make sure we understand what the stop price and stop limit price mean. Take a look at the stop limit tab on Binance, which can be seen on the window in the right. As you can see, in the window, the user needs to enter two values. The first, stop price, is the price in which the stop order will be placed. When the price reaches that price, a sell limit order will be placed automatically at the limit price seen in the second row. The stop limit price reduction value that can be configured in the bot determines the default percentage difference between the stop price and the limit price. For example, let's assume you selected 1% as the default value and entered a new trade on EOS BTC on Binance. If the stop price listed in the trade is 0.001, then the limit price will be 0.00099 or 1% lower than the stop price. Note that the sell limit order will only be triggered and placed when the stop price is reached and not before. As a result, there are a few things you need to consider when selecting the price reduction percentage. First, if the percentage is too small, the limit price will be very close to the stop price. In some cases, when the price of the coin drops quickly, it is possible that from the moment the price reaches the stop price, the price will continue to drop below the limit price before the exchange places the limit order. This will result in the limit order being skipped and it will only be filled if the price returns to the limit price. On the other hand, if the percentage difference is big, it is less likely that the price will drop so quickly that it will drop below the limit price before the exchange places the limit order. However, by setting a high price reduction percentage and making the distance between the stop price and limit price larger, you risk selling the coin in a price as low as the limit price in case the price drops quickly. You should take these considerations into account when deciding on a value that is right for you. That it is for this video. See you next time.